So I got another unboxing here today. So today, um, you guys will actually get an update. So I'm actually gonna do an update video right after um, I do this. Before I put these shrimp in, I'm gonna go ahead and do an update video. And then obviously I'm gonna um, show these shrimp in, in that video as well. But I'll do an update showing what I did to the 45F. So you guys remember the last scape, if you guys have been watching, was basically still Ice Icelandic stone, um, obviously more yugumi. Um, type style, just basically a cubic carpet with some S repins as in the midground. So very simple, sand front. Um, and so the, I had a couple hundred orange relays in there at the time, um, which was literally last week uh, at the time of this recording. And I decided to finally just get rid of those and sell them off and do something a little bit better. I just felt like the orange relays were fine, but it definitely wasn't the choice that I definitely wanted long term in this tank. And, and even this choice that I have now might not be the long term, but I feel like um, I'm really going to like these long term. And of course, eventually I plan to actually breed a whole bunch of stuff and actually have just a shrimp rack in general that I'll start breeding in. But of course, in this gallery that I have, I try to put the best stuff in the tanks and eventually we might have something even better in there. But this is going to be the today will be the unboxing of the new shrimp that'll go into this new scape that I did. So, so yeah, that's basically what I'll show in the other update is the rescape of this one. Um, I didn't record anything of the rescaping, so you'll simply just re, you'll you'll just see it. Um, I didn't really have time to show the progress, and I was kind of in the groove of doing it already, and I it was late at night, so I didn't really record much of me actually doing it. But I'll definitely show it off plenty. But I just wanted to basically because the sixty F definitely used all Icelandic and, and, and it's Igumi as well and so obviously I did that based off the 45F and now I, I just figured I had the orange rollies out of there might as well just redo the tank anyway and just make it look a lot better and I feel like the way this scape is it's kind of going through a store right now there's new Amazonia in it so um not too bad of algae but there's definitely a little bit so I'm going to do a water change before I'm actually adding these fish in or shrimp I mean um but I'll have to go through and do a water change and and stuff's gonna start to have to start filling back in again and looking good. But there's a lot of wood. There's gonna be immersed growth, so it's it looks it's it's gonna look really good, I think. And there's actually wood involved with this new scape, so I think it's actually gonna look pretty good in my opinion. So let's we'll see what happens. But yeah, it's definitely going through a little bit of a new stage. The good thing is it's not that bad because obviously the filter's already established, well established, um, already running on here. So it's not as bad as you know what it could be. So I'm definitely. Definitely just have to be patient to see what it turns into, but you can already see the merch growth with the, this is Luikia. I think this is, this one's Ruben, um, but you see how tall it is. So I'll definitely have a lot of immersed growth on this one. There's a lot of cool plants. I'm going to add even more to it. Um, I just basically simply planted what I had on hand and then I'll um, slowly add more stuff to it, but it'll still be kind of really simple. Um, Cuba, there's Cuba as the carpet, mainly as Epify to have it, I have it kind of all over the rock work. We'll see how that works out. It looks like it is growing. I'm fertilizing the water, making sure that it's definitely um, has enough nutrients in the water column, but I may have to put like mo mix it up with Monte Carlo on some of the rocks. And I did actually do that on some parts with the Monte Carlo that I had, but, but yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. That's all, I'll, I'll talk about that in the actual video on that. But, but so yeah, so unboxing, I'll see little square, square box insulated. I'll see, this is from Flips Aquatics. Um, so sticker, um, your packing slip, and then acclimation guide that they give you. Um, and then from the title of the video, you probably already know what this is, but yeah, so basically I ordered a breeding group of blue bolts. Um, I, re I preferably would want the really, really high-end um, blue bolts, but they were like $70, $80 a piece, and that wasn't from Flip Aquatics, that was from somewhere else. But I still got two in this breeding group, I got 12 total. 10 of them are basically just common grades. Still really, really nice. Of course, it's full of aquatics in the, the day. You're still going to get some really nice stuff. So just 10 just pretty much general blue bolts and then two deep blues. So hopefully, you know, those deep blues can breed and pass down their genes. And I, hopefully I can down the road keep trying to keep that blue gene um, strong and, you know, actually get, you know, high quality ones all together eventually. But for now, we'll just have to breed and see what happens with some of these offspring that happen. But so... They're in these little pouches like this. Um, the first ones are actually the deep blues right here. So quantity two, it's kind of hard to see, but you guys will see. I'll put them in actually a plastic container for drip alchemation here in a second, so. But yeah, almost through the bag, they just look like blue germs, but you guys will see them a lot closer. In the second bag, they're in this little wrapper. 
and these bags, the way they do these, um, with like the air like this, where, there's, where it's fully, you know, really, well, there's no air at all. It's how, how they bag these. You definitely don't want to float these. Um, you just basically want to put them in a separate container and drip acclimate them. Okay. And then, oh, actually it says 10 plus two. So that means I got 14. Maybe they just throw in two. Hmm. I thought it was 10, you know, then this was the plus two, but who knows, maybe that's pretty cool either way. Um, but see, so yeah, that means I'll 14 total, which that's even better for, you know, breeding purposes, which of course there's already going to be, um, the breeding ratio is already basically corrected on this order. Cause of course I bought a breeding, um, actually colony. So, um, so that, so the ratio is already picked out for me. So that's the, at least that's the good part. So hopefully there should be no problem breeding these guys for sure. Yeah, these st these look still really good. Like I see some that are like actually all blue, as an offspring. So see them there. But yeah, I just think the blue bolts look more sick. Like yeah, I could do like blue dreams where what I just think like I even think just the regular blue bolts with some of the white in it just looks sick and they have a different texture. Obviously, Caradinas just always have a cooler look to them. But we'll see what the all blues look like in the container for sure. But yeah, so I'm gonna get the. Oh yeah, and then. Can't forget about the sweetest fish. But yeah, so I'm gonna get them in a drip acclimation and then I'll turn around the camera and we can take a closer look at them.